Alright, welcome to part two of modding the original Xbox. Okay, for this tutorial we are going to need to build a USB to Xbox controller cable. You can buy these controller cables on eBay fairly cheap and have them shipped out to you or you can make your own. But we're going to need to connect a flash drive to our Xbox. This is why we're going to need to build the cable. So, I had built this cable probably around 10 years ago and it's not the nicest looking cable but it does still work I'm going to uh, show you how I built it but essentially all you gotta do is get a USB cable this is a six foot extension cable and you will cut up your controller somewhere in the middle and then you can solder this cable onto both sides you will solder the female USB port end onto the male controller port end and you will solder the male USB onto the controller now for this tutorial I'm going to remove this and I'm going to solder on this USB port instead so we'll show you how we're going to do this okay before we get going I also wanted to mention that you're going to need a compatible flash drive that'll work with the original Xbox and from what I've found is four gigabytes or less seems to work the uh, flash drive I'm going to be using is this Colby um, mp3 player flash drive that I got for years and years ago it's uh, 256 megabytes in size but I also found that the uh, Kingston data traveler four gigabyte flash drive works um, this is a really old Micro Center 1 gig flash drive and uh, this is another flash drive that I've got uh, that's around 123 megabytes in size and I uh, found that this one works as well so uh, other size flash drives like 16 gig, 8 gig, 32 gig they're not going to work they're just going to say that they're damaged and incompatible so be sure you have a compatible flash drive before you continue on with this also be aware that all the data on the flash drive will be wiped when it is plugged into the original Xbox. First step is going to be just cutting that. Now we'll have to remove some of the jacket here. Okay, so here we have the Xbox controller cable and the uh, five wires that are inside of it. Now there's this yellow wire here. It's not actually needed for anything, so we're going to go ahead and cut that wire. This is the USB port that I'm going to be soldering this cable to. You can see it has four prongs that stick out from the back of it. Now this USB port I desoldered out of an old computer monitor but if you don't have a USB port like this you can just use a USB extension cable and just solder the same colored wires to one another. I'm going to go ahead and strip these wires slightly at the end. I've gone ahead and taken the shielding cable that goes around and I wrapped it all together. I'm going to go ahead and tin them up with some solder now. For this I'm using flux first to help the solder flow into the wire. I'm going to tin my tip here and just let the solder flow right down into the wire. I've gone through and I've shortened the cables quite a bit. It's important to have short wires so that uh, there's no contact between the wires at any point. 
here I have the shielding cable. I'm going to solder into that as well because we're going to want to hook that up to the shielding of the USB port. I'll put some flux on this cable. Now I will go ahead and solder the shielding wire. Here's a pinout of this USB port. I'm going to tin the uh, tips here and put a little solder on each one. I'm going to go ahead and solder the black wire, which is ground. I'm going to go ahead and solder the green wire, which is data plus. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder the white wire, which is data minus. I'm going to solder the red wire, which is plus 5 volts. Then I'm going to solder on the shielding to one of the extra pegs sticking out on the side. Okay, so after all that, I now have this cable. And we're going to test this out. Okay, here we go, plugging in the flash drive. I plugged in the controller cable into controller port 4 and you can see it says the memory unit inserted isn't working correctly it has been erased. We'll press A for OK and now we can navigate to the controller and see that this there is nothing on this device. Now that we know that the controller USB port that we soldered on works perfectly, we can actually go ahead and tape this up now. And there we are. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to join me in part three when we begin to talk about how to soft mod the original Xbox. Thanks.